Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be decorating the pages in my horizontal planner for the week of December 21st to the 27th. I plan on doing a Christmas type spread in my, this is my journaling planner, and I was thinking of using this Live Love Posh sticker book. I don't believe this one's available anymore. This was her first sticker book that she came out with, and then I did get her second one, which I did a spread last week with and I don't know if that one is still available I know she restocked it if it is I'll make sure to link it um it's actually this one right here it's really pretty honestly make sure to follow her because when she comes out with sticker books you definitely want to get them if you love florals uh, they're really really pretty and I believe it was $20 plus $5 shipping so 25 bucks for this and it's a ginormous sticker book uh, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be using these because there are these really pretty red and white and green stickers, which is perfect for Christmas. So I want to use these, but I don't know yet what I'm going to pair with it. I have an idea. I have two options, but I'm going to first put down these florals and then once they're down, then I'll kind of see which one will work better, what theme will work better because I'm not, I haven't decided yet. All right, so I'm going to take these pages out and then get started. Okay, so I'm going to get these. There are two pages of these stickers, so that's really nice. I think there's that's how it is for most of the stickers in this book. Are there, like, duplicate copies? And these are all paper, so I have to just be really careful. When they're, like, intricately cut like this, they're always a little tricky to take off of the page, just to make sure you don't rip it. Okay, so, I mean, this one is definitely going in this corner. I just don't know yet if I'm going to have it coming out. I actually like that better. Yeah, I'm going to have it coming off of the page a little bit. I love when they put like this type of stickers in here because it just makes things so much easier to figure out. Like this one for sure is going on a corner, so that's where it's going to go. I mean, already with that, it looks really pretty. And then I do have this piece, which maybe I could stick up here. So I'm going to try to get this off. Okay. So this will fit here. It's not going to... Yeah, it's going to go off the page a little bit, but I'll just cut off the extra bits. And then I think I'm going to have some coming inside this spread, but I won't know those until I like, put some boxes down and stuff. So I'm going to just wait on like picking out a theme first, and then I can figure out where the rest are going to go. Oh, you know what? Actually, I want to do some of the countdown stickers. So let me go get some of those. Okay, so I'm going to use the countdown to Christmas stickers in here. They're only going to go on this side since... Obviously, Christmas is on this side. So, I don't know how that's going to look. I'm going to pull them. I'm just going to pull all of these, the rest of them, that I was using before. I don't know if like this is going to clash with what I have on here, but I'm going to go with it. Alright, so the two themes that I was thinking of using were either Mickey and Minnie or Wrong Wrong. And I'm still not sure which one I want to use. So I'm going to figure that out. I'm actually going to get the Mickey and Minnie ones. I don't know, they're just so cute. I just want to use... I, I just love the Mickey and Minnie stuff, but I've been using them a lot. So I don't know if I want to use them again. But I'm going to see. But the thing is, I would want to use these um, where they're like together. But I don't like like these other colors in here. Let me see how this will look though. If I do add these. Okay, so that's one option that I'm not sure yet if that's the option I'm going to go with. Or I can go with Wrong Wrong, which I haven't used Wrong Wrong. 
I don't know. I'm still not sure what I want to do. The only problem with Rong Rong is, like, there are stickers. There's really good stickers in here, like functional stickers. But they have girls on everything. And it's like the same girls repeated over and over again. And it's not, like, my favorite. I don't like when they do that. So I could use these. And, like, do black. You know what? I haven't done wrong wrong in forever. I've been doing Mickey and Minnie like all the time. I just did one. I'm going to do wrong wrong only because I haven't used it at all in a while actually. So yeah, I'm going to do, I like the black. It's different, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to use that. There's some girls I can use. Look in here. Oh, it's the same. Ooh, these girls are better. Okay, so I have these girls. Where can I add these girls? Even though I know I'm going to use these, I still don't know how I'm going to use them. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe I'll use these girls because they're like in the black. I feel like this is more like... No, oh, this is Christmas. Yeah, that one's pretty. Ooh, this one's pretty because she's... It says... She has like a little sign that says, Be Merry. Okay, I like that one too. And this one's cute with the presents. I like the one with the tree too. Ah, I want to use them all now. Okay. Just need to figure out how I'm going to put these all on the page. Because that's the little tricky part. Oh my gosh, I'm already ripping the page. This is why I put stuff on wax paper. Because I'm like, this whole page is ripping. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to put this down. And it's just like glue on this page. But this planner always gives me issue with it gives me issues with taking stickers off I've never had a planner that rips the page because of stickers all right so I have to make sure I use only wax paper aye, aye, aye. okay so let me see how do I want to do this Okay, so the first thing I know for sure is I'm covering up these girls. I'm going to cover them up. But I'm actually going to cover them up with the same girls, just a bigger version, because I like that better. So I'm hoping this will, you won't be able to see through her, that they are there underneath. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to use that, them to cover up this sticker a little bit. Actually, I should place this first, because I want them to be like on this line. A little bit. And you know what? How am I doing it this way? Let me do on wax paper first. So this is gonna go here, and then this is gonna go on top, like this. You can kind of see them. I might wipe them out. Yeah, I might as well just wipe them out. Okay. So that's layered, and then I can put them here. I'll probably have to white out that line behind her, but yeah, I think that looks good there. And then maybe I can add some florals here. Let's see if there's like some small ones. Well, I have some like little holly leaves. Oops. Be careful with these. Okay. Oh, and then I did want to add in these. Okay, so I have four. I'll do four here. I'm going to lightly put it down just in case I need 
need to remove it and put three here. Two is going to go here. I just like them to, be, them to be scattered a little bit around the page. And then I'm going to put one probably here. Again, I'm not putting them down all the way just in case I need to move them. But I think that looks good so far. Yeah, I like those girls. Okay, and then I have this pretty one. I think I want to add her maybe here. But I want to do like a box. I kind of like this red one. And I want to cover her up. Cover this girl up with her. I might have to white her out too. A little bit because she's not gonna she's not gonna cover up all the way so I'm just gonna wipe her out all right so I was able to cover up the girl with this one which I think is better okay I think that looks better like that and then maybe I'll put some florals here so let me I think I like these Ooh, this one's pretty too no maybe these right here it's not too big I could put here. So I, I want to put it underneath the sticker. Like so. Alright, cute. I like that. Oh, and then I have this black sticker that says it's the holidays. Maybe I'll put this here. Cool. I like that. I like those girls on that page. That looks really pretty. I do have a couple left. I need to figure out this disaster that I did right there. Because I don't think these will fit. I feel like because they're super fancy that I don't want to add this on here. I do like the Christmas tree though. I wonder if I can cover them up with something. I don't know yet. It is cute though. And then I do have these girls. They're, they're fancy too. I could add them in, but where? Because I'm running out of spaces. I mean, I could put them here. I kind of want girls that are not as tall on this side. Like, I wouldn't mind this over here somewhere. To have like another taller one over here. But... I don't know if I want them over here on this side. I feel like they're taking up too much room. Okay, so I need to look for something for here. And maybe like one more girl or one more set of girls. Okay, I found, a, I think I found a couple of girls. So I have this one that says meet me under the mistletoe. I might add her over here. Or I also have, oops, put this down. I also have one where she is, she has a bunch of presents. But I don't know if this one goes. I feel like that one doesn't go as well as this one. So I'm probably going to add her. I might take off Meet Me Under the Mistletoe just so I can have her maybe over here with a box or something to cover up this mess that I made. And then, okay, I found this sticker in this mini sticker book. I forgot to look that they have similar stickers in these books but different sizes. So. I'm going to take this smaller one. I feel like this will be a better size over here. The only thing is that, only if I can remove it. Okay, this one came off. Because I put this on the wax paper. It was on there for a bit, so it was easy to remove. But yeah, I feel like this looks better. It doesn't take up as much room. Yeah, I like that. So I need to find a box for this girl. Which I think I have. Maybe in this book. I think I want like red or green. Oh, if I can find green. Oh, she's actually in green there. Maybe this one? Actually, I don't really care for the scallops. Oh, I have this one. I can just use her. Let's see. I kind of wish though. Okay, now I'm like getting picky. That she was on the other. Because I feel like the girls are just like down the middle. And I'd rather have her here in this corner. Okay. 
Can I white it out? I don't know. She's kind of big. Well, no, she's the same size. But... Okay, I'm going to find something else. Okay, I think I'm just going to do a black box over here. I'm going to layer her. Maybe I will keep the quote. I'm not sure yet if I'm keeping the quote. Let's see how this looks here. If I put her here. I think her shirt is dark enough that I don't have to wipe that out. Okay, I do like that. I just need to find something to cover up that. Actually, no, I have blue over here, so I feel like that's fine. It's a little bit of blue on that side. Okay, I'm gonna find a box or something for here. So I have a red box here that I think I'm gonna put uh, you know what, I'm going to put it down here because I wanted a box for this day. And then maybe I'll put florals with this one just to get some more florals on this side of the page. So let me get some of those over here. They're so pretty. Okay, so I have a few options. Maybe... I used that one already. Okay. I haven't used this one. I think that will look good here. Maybe I'll have it coming over here a little bit more. Okay. I had to work on that one off camera a little bit because it was a little tricky for me. And I ended up moving some of these countdown stickers around a little bit. I feel like this position is better. Okay. So I like that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to add in any more florals. Maybe another one of these holly leaves, and then that might be it. But I think I have a good amount of florals on the page, which I really like. I don't actually no, I don't have another holly leaf on this side, so I don't want to use the other side. I'm gonna save that. So I'm just gonna try to just use this one sheet. So I think for now I'm done with this, but yeah, this is such a good sticker book. It's so pretty. Um okay. So I'm going to add some headers I feel like covering this up just to get more red over here I just want that covered and then I could add a sticker on here I'll do remember since this is like a little journaling planner and then I think I'll do don't have any more that I could put over here but I guess I'll just do those that's fine and then oh maybe some quotes would be cute in here I like that hello holly late what is it holly yays holly yays hello holly yays oh and I want to add in washi because I love washi. I might add in some of these hearts if I have black ones. I do have black ones. Okay, let me add in some washi. I need to find a good washi to use for this spread. And Okay, so I'm going to use a washi I've never used before because it's one of the Simply Gilded washies. I've been collecting a bunch of Simply Gilded washi, and I'm going to start using them more because I know somebody had asked me to start using washi, and the reason why I wasn't using them was because I was trying to make spreads just, just Happy Planner products since I'm on the Happy Planner squad, but I'm going to start using some of this other washi from the other companies that I get washi from. So this one's Simply Gilded. I figured this would be perfect because it's just like a really dainty little bow. And it's Christmas, so, you know, lots of bows on presents and stuff. I feel like this will go really well with this spread. So I'm gonna use it. This washi is really, really nice. Highly recommend it. I prefer more of like, this is the only bow washi I like. I normally don't like the bow washi that they have available 
but this washi because it's like really small this um but yeah it's like a really small bow washi i really like that and this planner does not like it when i move stickers And I feel like since everything has lines going around the place, it everything is more obviously crooked. Since I have a line to guide every, or to see that things are crooked. Okay. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna continue adding more on this side. The only thing is sometimes these rolls of washi roll out like I have to hold it on my left hand. I prefer holding it this way, but for some reason some of the washi rolls out this way. That's my only, like, complaint. I'm trying to get used to that, but I'm so used to holding it in my right hand. And I am right-handed, so it just makes things so much easier. Alright, so I'm going to put some there, and then maybe some here. Okay, so I put some there, and then I'm going to put some probably on the bottom. And I'm actually going to just do it upside down. I forgot. That's one thing I have to remember is just roll it out upside down. That way I can hold it in my right hand. Just makes things so much easier when I can have it this way. All right, it can be a lot more precise. I feel not waste so much washi. Okay, so I think that's a good amount of washi on the page. I really like that. It's really pretty. All right, so I'm thinking probably just adding in maybe a couple of bullet points and then I'll be done. Oh, I actually found more little headers in the other Wrong Wrong sticker book that I have. So I'm going to put this remember. Actually, no. I'm going to put today over here since I don't have a today on this side. And then I can put remember in black over here on this side. That way I have a couple around the page. And now I'm going to add in some bullet points. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I wasn't like a huge fan of the Wrong Wrong sticker books when they first came out because I'm not really into these like fashion girls. But now I actually really like them. I think they're cute. They're really pretty. These illustrations are really pretty. So, okay. Bullet points. Yeah, and I don't think... I don't think the Happy Planner is going to be doing any more of these stickers because I think... She probably realized that, hey, people really like planners and stickers, and now she's doing her own planners and stickers. So she found out that she has, like, people who really want to buy this stuff, and now she's making stuff on her own for that, which is cool. So yeah, I'm gonna, where did I, I'm still looking for bullet points. Where did I find them? I can't remember. They were hearts. Oh, they're in the mini. I forget. The mini has bullet points. Okay, so I kind of want black over here. So I think the New Year's stickers have black. So I'm going to put a black one here. And I'm going to put maybe a red one here. I don't need that many bullet points. Just a couple. So I'll put this one here, and then I'll put another red one here, I think, here. Um, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I, seriously, I, I did not... I was really leaning more towards um, Mickey, Mickey and Minnie, but I think this works so much better with these floral stickers. It's really pretty. I love that I was able to incorporate these countdown stickers because those worked really well with this spread. And these girls, they're so pretty. So I'm going to put this back in my planner because I am all done. Alright, so there's my completed spread for my horizontal journaling planner. I love how this turned out. Uh, remember, make sure to go give Jessica from Live Love Posh 
a follow on Instagram. That's normally where she releases when she's going to have a sticker book. She'll normally do like sneaks and and then it will go on sale. The last time, the last time it went on sale, it did sell it did sell out and then she restocked it. So it's best to buy this as soon as she announces that it is released. That's normally what I do um, to get make sure I get a copy because they're really good. These florals are gorgeous. Love them. And yeah, that is my spread. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one.